Welcome to Queenstown. Here I am again, and it's um, just flown in from Hobart, driven all the way with Raymond for four hours um, across the wonderful countryside. Um, mixed, mixed weather, um, quite a bit of rain uh, this evening, but beautiful as I descended down into Queenstown. Lovely, lovely sunshine. But here I am in the studio again, literally a year later, with all my work around me. Um, well, a fair selection of work, and in, in, in the gallery in, in Lark. Um, so really just wanted to say welcome, and this is the beginning of another short adventure. Um, my bags are here, so I'm just about to unpack them and make myself at home in the studio for the next two and a half weeks. I've got a lot of engagements uh, where I'm going to be taking part in the 10-day festival. Um, kicks off tomorrow. Um, and so lots really going on. And um, but I just wanted you to begin with you another series of uh, vlogs and discussions and reflections about all that happened last year and show you some new work um, that I brought with me to show Raymond. Um, and just uh, it is a real time of reflection on this extraordinary time I had here in Australia. But it's lovely to be back and it's lovely to be in Queenstown. And, uh, Speak to you again shortly. Good morning. Here we are in the gallery and, um, well, in my old studio. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of um, the studio and then we'll walk over to the gallery before the show, which opens tonight. So let's just move back and then we can see by the window. So this is where people are going to come in. So we have a nice uh, sign here. And then we've got a, a small version of um, Full Moon Over Queenstown. And then we move to um, Full Moon Over Penganen. And then let's walk over to here. So it's interspersed with quite a few drawings. And that is an early study, uh, it's a study for landscapers' discourse. And then we have Submerged Thought, which is the, the painting which started and, and then the big painting occurred, which you'll see soon. And then I reworked that. And here we have some samples that uh, Rory's left out, some beautiful specimen that he's dug up. And then this is the painting Pre-existent Thought, retitled. And this is a, a version of a Freudian slip. There's three versions of this. And then this is thinking about history, history of this place. And uh, so like in an office, um, geology office with lots of maps and things around, and then the valleys. And then down below here, this is one of the landscapers' discourse drawings. Then this painting is the second version of Thoughts Over Queenstown, one of the last things I did. You'll see the bigger painting a bit later on. And these two are thoughts, really, thoughts over the sea and thoughts over the desert, all looking for thinkers. And... Um, here we have, I wasn't able to stretch the, um, the boundary one, which is the darker one. Uh, but to the left, we've got Crotty, which is the first version of the kind of uh, submerged lake that I did. And the boundary is the painting, which you'll see the drawing in a minute. And then this is the second version of the Crotty, which I've called um, Let Sleeping Dogs Lie. Then these are earlier on paintings that I painted. Um, Thoughts looking for a thinker, and uh, thoughts looking for a thinker too. So the, the, these are some of the first paintings I painted. And then we walk through here. Here we go. So that's the first painting um, for Thoughts Over Queenstown. And um, this painting I've called Basement Soliloquy. You'll see some other versions of this at, at the gallery. Really, really rather like this. 
I went to Devizes many years ago to the to the um, to the museum there, and it really got I really got excited by it. It's a very old museum, like they used to have in Stroud. Um, the sense of no one really going there very much, but these wonderful old Victorian um, glass cases. Uh, this is one of the last paintings I painted. So this is um, thoughts calling out in the marketplace. So a number of drawings here, starting off with full moon over Queenstown. And then that's the boundary drawing that you saw the painting for. And that was the painting. So these, the, these were really important drawings at the time. And that was nocturnal journey over Queenstown. Then this is an early drawing that was for Submerged Thought. And this one here, um, uh, a drawing about Queenstown. So if, if we kind of have a look around the studio, just do a kind of a sweep. Um, I'm starting a drawing just here, and I'll show you some, some of the work. I've already done about three drawings so far, and that's since I've been here, working into the evenings, and I'm doing some it's quite interesting things. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to the gallery now. So we're going to walk out, and I'll just give you another view. So we walk out into the street, and we look down the high street, down there, and we look up this extraordinary landscape. Look at that. So it's always sunny when I'm here. Walk across here, and you'll see the bank. So there's the bank. Good, so welcome. So here we are in the gallery, and I'm just starting with the painting, um, The Unconscious. And then we're going to move through the space, and there's the poster for the whole of this last, uh, the last lot, the last 10 years. So we move into the painting about the two walks. So thinking about... Um, walk um, in England and walks in uh, Tasmania. So that's the so that's the second version of uh, Let Sleeping Dog Fly. And that's the last version, the second version of the two worlds, two walks, like in a basement of one's memory. And that is the last painting I painted. So this is um, Thoughts having found a thinker, so that's Queenstown, and that's that's me there coming out of the bank. Um, big thought is just about to catch me, always caught me. Um, this is the painting. The landscape is discourse. So that's two hundred centimeters by two hundred centimeters, six and a half feet by six and a half feet. And then this is a small version, and the small version was painted after the large version, but it's quite noticeably different. The cloud is much heavier, but just to see the both of them together, it's quite nice. And then submerged thought. And lastly. painting called, called self-portrait that really sums up me looking at extraordinary thoughts that one can find and hunt or that come to you. Hi Raymond, there he goes.
just about to have a lovely lunch. And here is Raymond's latest print. Just to, just to look back around the gallery. Helena cooking lunch. And Raymond just sorting out and preparing for the show. And dog. So there you go. Opening in about four hours. So there you go.